a Nigerian Islamist group that killed seven foreign hostages it had been holding since February has posted a video of what it said was their bodies on the internet. Joining us now to discuss security and risk in Nigeria is Chris Muhalo. He is from BTK Tech Security Products. He's an ex-US Army military intelligence specialist. Mr. Muhalo, thank you so much for joining us here on uh, Beyond Markets. Of course, the latest uh, killings, an indication that the Islamist threat is growing in Nigeria. From where you're sitting, do you think the Nigerian authorities have an adequate handle on the security situation that they're facing? Well, um, I think that the, uh, the Nigerian uh, security agencies are doing their very best to uh, curtail uh, the uh, issue of terrorism in Nigeria. Um, but uh, again, I think we can always do better. Mm -hmm. Now, saying that we can do better, of course, has to be matched with resources, boots on the ground. We've just seen the election of uh, Uhuru Kenyatta in Kenya. Kenya is very strategic in terms of, um, you know, the, the focus on containing Islamist violence in Africa. Um, give us a sense of um, how the kind of developments in Nigeria affects the broader geopolitical situation on the continent. Well, um, of course, it is affecting it immensely. Um, but I, I would love to uh, you know, uh, talk about what the government should actually um, uh, keep doing or should be doing to, uh, to help curb uh, this, uh, this, uh, this uh, terrorism that's, that's engulfing this country. Um, number one, I really think that the Nigerian government should set up a Department of Homeland Security. Um, that is very critical. Uh, we should also uh, um, make sure we step up our intelligence, uh, the way we gather intelligence and uh, how, how we do that. Um, again, I'm not saying that we're not doing all these things, but I think that uh, setting up the Department of Homeland Security, uh, set, uh, setting up a, a, what we call a vetting process for the security agencies. Uh, also, um, we can streamline uh, our, uh, uh, the security operations to make sure that we're, the intelligence we're getting is moving uh, by the speed of light. Mm -hmm. Now, these capacities that you're talking about that has to be developed by the Nigerian government um, obviously costs um, resources and political will. Are those two factors in place um, among the political elite in Nigeria? And if so, um, why has it not happened sufficiently? Well, I, I, I think that, um, uh, that they, are, they are actually probably working on it. And uh, again, uh, the, the issue is the terrorists are now waiting for us to set up. Uh, these are professionals. They have to do what they have to do. They have to cause havoc. Now, for us, on the other side, our job is to protect the citizens of Nigeria. So there is really little room to, uh, to, to talk about politics. We need to move by the speed of light. Uh, because our enemies are now waiting for us to set up. So if we are going to do this and do it right, uh, we're going to have to use uh, a lot of tactics and we have, to, we have to get serious and move quickly. Mm -hmm. um, setting up a Department of Homeland Security, setting up a fusion center, uh, setting up a vetting process for the agencies, streamlining the uh, security agencies that are here so that we can all know what we're doing in terms of intelligence. Uh, all these things are things we have to do. In other words, they have to be done like now. Mm -hmm. Now, if one looks at the kind of regional cooperation that one would uh, require and streamlining of agencies, um, of course, besides the internal structures in Nigeria that will have to get their act together, Nigeria will also have to cooperate with uh, other major African countries. Take us through the kind of cooperation agreements, particularly at a security and intelligence level that will need to be in place to kind of, um, you know, come up with a comprehensive strategy that will evolve involve not just Nigeria but many of the kind of other big players on the continent Mr. Mohali, can okay, you hear me? Um, yes, I'm not sure if you if you heard the question. Uh, Let me repeat it. What I was asking is, are there enough, um, you know, intelligence information sharing between Nigeria and other big um, African countries um, to put together the kind of, um, you know, intelligence network that one requires to beat back the the kind of terrorist activity that we see in that part of the world. Um, I, I think we have to collaborate with, uh, with in, in, uh, international agencies, 
we're actually collaborating with international agencies right now, with the U.S. government, the, uh, uh, the other foreign government. Uh, and I think Nigeria is beginning to do a good job at doing that. Uh, but again, like I said, we need to do a little bit more. We need to do better uh, than what we are doing right now. Mm -hmm. Usually when we get intelligence information from, from the U.S. or from anywhere else outside the country, and information is sent to us, it is up to us here in Nigeria to have the ability to, uh, to disseminate that information uh, with the speed of light. Mm -hmm. So the foreign agencies are actually working with us, and, um, and I think we're getting there. And I think we're beginning to put in place the things that we need to put in place to check terrorism. Mm -hmm. But again, I say to you uh, that we need to move by the speed of light. There, 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 there is a lot more that needs to be done. We also need uh, the, the, uh, the expertise of Nigerians in the diaspora who work for other international agencies, in, uh, uh, intelligence agencies like in the U.S., FBI, CIA, and the rest of them. A lot of these uh, uh, professionals want to come to Nigeria to help, and I think the federal government need to create an, an, uh, an opening for uh, these uh, uh, Nigerians in the diaspora to come home and, uh, and help us with the fight against terrorism. Mm -hmm. So yes, we are, we are doing what we have to do, uh, but we need to move quicker and faster. What, are, what about the relationship between Nigerian intelligence agencies and, of course, um, those uh, in the United States? Uh, we all know that the United States has probably one of the best equipped intelligence agencies and, and capacities in the world, uh, very high-tech uh, driven. Are the existing cooperation agreements between agencies in Nigeria and the U.S. Um, that will facilitate capacitating Nigerian uh, security agencies to get up to speed, to be, to be able to deal with the kinds of challenges that they face on the ground? Yeah, I, 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 you know, I can't answer a lot of these questions for the government, but I know from what I no. see and what I hear that, yes, there really is a major cooperation between the United States and Nigeria in terms of dealing with terrorism. And I know that it, it's working. I know here in Nigeria, our security agencies are doing a great job. They're doing a good job of handling the, uh, the, the situation. Uh, but uh, again, um, uh, that, that's, that, that withstanding, uh, the U.S. cannot put boots on the ground in Nigeria. Um, it's up to us here in Nigeria to be more efficient and more effective in what we do. We have to act like professionals. We have to vet all the, uh, you can do all the training in the world, but uh, if, if you're training the wrong people and if you're training Boko Haram sympathizers or other ter people that give ter terrorist information, uh, then, then you're really not doing a good job. So the first thing we need to do in Nigeria is to vet. Uh, we need to uh, revalidate all our security agencies, make sure that the people we put in the fight against terrorism are actually doing that and not giving away any sensitive information. But yeah, I know that we are uh, in Nigeria. Uh, the federal government in Nigeria is actually working with the U.S. And, uh, and I think they pre they're doing a good job at that.